Hi, I'm Andy Glass of Glass Impressions. A few days ago, I turned this pizza cutter turning kit from Rockler. Today, I'd like to bring you along for the ride as I complete this bottle opener turning kit from Rockler. Stick around, hope you enjoy. I start by taking out the contents of the turning kit. The turning kit includes a chrome plated opener, a 5 16th threaded insert, and a 5 16th Allen wrench. I place the turning blank that I ordered at rockler.com into my vise. I use a straight edge and an awl to mark and punch the center for drilling the pilot hole for the threaded insert. You can certainly use a drill press for this operation, but I found that I had plenty of material to work with if I drilled the hole at a slight angle. Next take your allen wrench and screw in the threaded insert into the hole. An optional turning accessory is the turning mandrel. This will be threaded into the threaded insert and mounted in a chuck. This project can be turned between centers, but the mandrel gives you a few benefits. First, it provides an extremely strong grip on the workpiece utilizing a chuck. Second, it has a large diameter reference disc on it. That disc is the same diameter as the finished turning kit's hardware. I will reference this feature later in the video. Third, it allows you to sand and finish the end of the handle. After mounting the chuck to the lathe, I can place the turning mandrel into the chuck and screw on my blank. I then can slide the tailstock to the end for support. The tailstock must be used. I use Rockler's full size square radius carbide turning tool to get the blank round and extremely balanced. This blank is much larger than I need so I focus on the section that will make up the handle. With the sharp corners of the blank you want to use light cuts to minimize the risk of a catch. A quick tip to see if your material is round. Place your tool shaft on the top of the blank and see if it bounces. If it does, your blank still has flat spots and is not round. If it rides nice and smooth, you have achieved a round blank. With the blank now round, we can focus on getting the material closer to the diameter we want before we start to shape it. I like to use the stepping method instead of focusing on entire length of the tool rest. I plunge into a single spot until I reach my desired depth. I then move on to the next spot and continue until the blank is at the correct diameter. We can now begin shaping the handle. I use Rockler's full size round carbide turning tool. The shape is all personal preference. I stop the lathe every now and again and grab the handle to see how it fits in my hand. Here you can see the benefits of the turning mandrel. It provides a nice reference to the diameter I need to match the turning kit hardware. With the handle shape, we can now begin sanding. I start at 100 grit and move all the way to 220 grit, making sure I spend adequate time getting the previous grit marks out of the way. I then use Rockler's full size carbide diamond turning tool to clean up the end and prepare for cutting with a saw. I then clean up the end with a bit of sandpaper and prepare for finish. I'm using tried and true finish. It is a non-toxic polymerized linseed oil and natural resin blend. This finish is very thick and has a consistency of honey. I simply apply multiple coats with a shop towel, making sure each coat is very thin. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this project. These turning kits are really fun and easy and fast to do. If you'd like to enjoy turning, head over to your local Rockler or visit rockler.com. If you'd like to know more information on glass impressions, I encourage you to visit my website, andyglassimpressions.com, or search me on YouTube, Glass Impressions, as I frequently release woodworking and CNC content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.